Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, we are going to see overview of the concept exponential distribution. We will also see examples based on it. Let us first see the points that I am going to cover in this video. First, we will see introduction to exponential probability distribution. Then we will see formal definition to exponential distribution. Next, we will see how to calculate mean, variance and CDF that is cumulative distribution function for exponential probability distribution variate. Then finally, we will see examples based on this concept. So now let us begin with the introduction to exponential probability distribution. Exponential distribution is a continuous probability distribution. That means the variable which follows exponential distribution is continuous in nature. It is used to model the time between events in processes where events occur randomly and independently at a constant average rate. The exponential distribution is characterized by a single parameter lambda known as the rate parameter which quantifies the average rate at which events occur. It is closely related to the Poisson distribution which models the number of events in a fixed interval whereas the exponential distribution focuses on the time or distances between the successive events. Now we will see formal definition of exponential distribution. A random variable x is said to follow exponential distribution with parameter lambda greater than 0. Note that lambda is the rate parameter. If it takes any non-negative real value and its probability density function is given by a function f of x is equal to lambda into e raised to minus lambda x for all x greater than or equal to 0 and it is equal to 0 anywhere else. Where random variable x is the time between events. Lambda is the distribution rate. It represents the average rate at which events occur per unit time space or another dimension. Now let us see how to calculate mean, variance and cumulative distribution function of exponential distribution variate. Mean of x is expectation of x. It is usually given by integral of x into f of x dx over the limit 0 to infinity for any continuous random variable. It is found that expectation of x in this case is 1 by lambda. Similarly, variance of x denoted by v of x has formula e of x square minus e of x the whole square. It is found that v of x is equal to 1 by lambda square. We can relate variance and mean using these formulas. We obtain that mean is equal to variance into lambda. Check that if I multiply variance by lambda, I am going to get 1 by lambda which is nothing but mean of x. So therefore, mean is equal to variance into lambda. Next, we will see cumulative distribution function which we usually denote by capital F of x. Capital F of x is equal to probability of x less than or is equal to small x. In case of continuous random variable, it is given by integral of f of x dx over the limit 0 to x. Here we find that value of this integral is 1 minus e raised to minus lambda x. So cumulative distribution function capital F of x which is probability of x less than or is equal to x is 1 minus e raised to minus lambda x. Now let us proceed with some examples. In this first example we are given that telephone calls arrive at a call center following an exponential distribution with parameter lambda is equal to 12 per hour. If we are at the call center, what is the probability that the waiting time for a call is number 1 at least 15 minutes and number 2 not more than 10 minutes. Let us see its solution. First we define the required random variable. Let random variable x denote the waiting time in hours for a call. Given that x follows 
exponential distribution with parameter lambda is equal to 12. Therefore, corresponding probability mass function f of x is lambda into e raised to minus lambda x. Here lambda is 12. So, f of x is 12 into e raised to minus 12x. We can also calculate CDF capital F of x, which is nothing but probability of x less than or is equal to x. We have seen its formula is 1 minus e raised to minus lambda x. And here lambda is 12. So, probability of x less than or is equal to x is 1 minus e raised to minus 12x. Now we proceed to find probability that the waiting time for a call is at least 15 minutes. It can be denoted by P of x greater than or is equal to 15 minutes. Because x denotes the waiting time in hours for a call, we should write these 15 minutes in terms of hours. 15 minutes means 1 by 4 hours. So P of x greater than or is equal to 15 minutes now become P of x greater than or is equal to 1 by 4 hours. Using complement formula, we can write this as 1 minus P of x less than 1 by 4 hours. Now using this CDF formula, we can write P of x less than 1 by 4 as 1 minus e raised to minus lambda x, where x here is 1 by 4 and lambda is 12. So after substituting lambda and x, we get this is equal to 0 0.0498. So the probability that the waiting time for a call is at least 15 minutes is 0.0498. I hope guys you understood this solution. Now let us calculate the probability that the waiting time for a call is not more than 10 minutes. It can be denoted by probability of x less than or is equal to 10 minutes. Not more than 10 minutes means less than or is equal to 10 minutes. First of all, we convert these 10 minutes in hours. 10 minutes means 1 by 6 hours. So we have probability of x less than or is equal to 10 minutes is equal to probability of x less than or is equal to 1 by 6 hours. Using CDF formula, we can write this as 1 minus e raised to minus lambda x, where lambda is 12 and x is 1 by 6. So after substituting lambda and x, we get P of x less than or is equal to 10 as 0 0.8647. So we can now conclude this by writing probability that the waiting time for a call is not more than 10 minutes is 0 0.8647. Now let us proceed for next example. Here we are given that suppose that accidents occur in a factory at a rate of 1 by 20 per working day. So this is the rate of distribution, that means this is the value of lambda. Suppose in the factory, 6 days from Monday to Saturday are working. So factory is working for 6 days from Monday to Saturday. Suppose we begin observing the occurrence of accidents at the starting of the work on Monday. Let x be the number of days until the first accident occurs. So here x is the random variable and it denotes the number of days until the first accident occurs. We are asked to find the probability that first week is accident free and number two, first accident occurs anytime on Tuesday in second week till end of working day on Wednesday in the same week. Let us proceed for the solution. First we redefine this random variable x. So here given that random variable x denotes the number of days until the first accident occurs. It is also clear from the example that x follows exponential distribution with rate parameter lambda is equal to 1 by 20. Now we write corresponding PMF and CDF. So here corresponding PMF f of x whose formula is lambda e raised to minus lambda x can be written as 1 by 20 e raised to minus 1 by 20 x because here lambda is 1 by 20 and corresponding CDF can be given by capital F of x which is P of x less than or is equal to small x whose formula is 1 minus e raised to minus lambda x is equal to 1 minus e raised to minus 1 by 20 x because lambda is 1 by 20. 
now we proceed to calculate the probability that the first week is accident free first week is accident free means accident occurs after 6 days this can be denoted by probability of x greater than 6 days because x indicates the number of days until the first accident occurs so if accident occurs after 6 days x has to be strictly greater than 6 days probability of x greater than 6 days can be written using complement formula as 1 minus probability of x less than or is equal to 6 days and using CDF formula we can write P of x less than or is equal to 6 using this formula 1 minus e raised to minus lambda x where x is 6 and lambda is 1 by 20. So after substituting values for x and lambda we see it is equal to 0 0.7408. So the probability that the first week is accident free is equal to 0 0.7408. Now let us proceed to calculate the probability that the first accident occurs any time on Tuesday in second week till the end of working day on Wednesday in the same week. I am borrowing these previous data. This can be written as probability of x between 7 and 9. P of x between 7 and 9 can be written as P of x less than or is equal to 9 minus P of x less than or is equal to 7. So you will get the difference P of x between 7 and 9. Using CDF formula, P of x less than or is equal to 9 can be written as 1 minus e raised to minus 9 lambda and p of x less than or is equal to 7 can be written as 1 minus e raised to minus 7 lambda. Here lambda is 1 by 20. So after substituting lambda and simplifying, I see p of x between 7 and 9 is 0 0.0671. So the required probability is 0 0.0671. I hope guys you understood this solution. Now let us proceed for next example. Here we are asked to assume that the time between arrivals of customers at a particular bank is exponentially distributed with mean of 4 minutes. And we are asked to find the probability that the time between arrivals is greater than 5 minutes and number 2 between 1 and 4 minutes. Guys note that here the random variable follows exponential distribution with mean 4. This data is already given. Mean is 4, so lambda is 1 by 4. Because formula for mean is 1 by lambda. So if mean is 4, lambda is 1 by 4. Now let us look at the solution. First we define the required random variable. Let Random variable x denotes the time between arrivals of customers at a bank. And it is already given that x follows exponential distribution with mean is equal to 4 minutes. Therefore, lambda is equal to 1 by 4. Now we write the corresponding PMF and CDF. The corresponding PMF f of x whose formula is lambda e raised to minus lambda x can be now written as 1 by 4 e raised to minus 1 by 4 x where lambda is 1 by 4. And now CDF which is given by capital F of x is equal to P of x less than or is equal to x whose formula is 1 minus e raised to minus lambda x can now be written as 1 minus e raised to minus 1 by 4 x. Now let us calculate the probability that the time between arrivals is greater than 5 minutes. Since x denotes the time between arrivals of customers at the bank we can write this as p of x greater than 5 minutes and using complement formula we can write p of x greater than 5 as 1 minus p of x less than or is equal to 5. Using CDF formula we can write p of x less than or is equal to 5 as 1 minus e raised to minus 5 lambda and lambda is 1 by 4. So after substituting values of lambda and x here we get p of x greater than 5 as 0 0.2865. Therefore, probability that the time between arrivals is greater than 5 minutes is 0 0.2865. Now, let us proceed to calculate 
the probability that the time between arrivals is between 1 and 4 minutes. In terms of x, it can be written as p of x between 1 and 4, which can be further written as p of x less than or is equal to 4 minus p of x less than or is equal to 1. Using CDF formula, we can write p of x less than or is equal to 4 as 1 minus e raised to minus 4 lambda and p of x less than or is equal to 1 as 1 minus e raised to minus lambda into 1. Here lambda is 1 by 4. So p of x between 1 and 4 can be further calculated as 0 0.4109. Therefore, probability that the time between arrivals of customers at the bank between 1 and 4 is 0 0.4109. I hope guys you understood this solution. Now let us proceed for last example. Here given that on the average a certain machine part lasts 10 years. So this is the mean of x. It is given that it is 10 years. The length of the time the machine parts last is exponentially distributed. So this sentence tells us that the corresponding random variable follows exponential distribution. And we are asked that what is the probability that a machine part lasts more than 7 years. Let us proceed for the solution. First we define the required random variable. Let random variable x denotes the time the machine parts lasts or work properly. Given that x follows exponential distribution with average 10 years. Average means mean. Therefore, corresponding lambda is 1 by 10. Now, let us write corresponding PMF and CDF. PMF f of x has formula lambda into e raised to minus lambda x, where lambda is 1 by 10. So, f of x is 1 by 10 e raised to minus 1 by 10 x. And CDF capital F of x, which is p of x less than or is equal to x, has formula 1 minus e raised to minus lambda x where lambda is 1 by 10. So CDF is 1 minus e raised to minus 1 by 10 x. Now let us proceed to calculate probability that a machine part lasts more than 7 years. In terms of x, this can be written as p of x greater than 7. p of x greater than 7 can be written as 1 minus p of x less than or is equal to 7. And using CDF formula, p of x less than or is equal to 7 can be written as 1 minus e raised to minus 7 lambda. Substituting value of lambda which is 1 by 10, we get p of x greater than 7 as 0 0.4966. Therefore, the probability that a machine part lasts more than 7 years is 0 0.4966. I hope guys you understood this solution. Now it is your turn to solve some examples. These are some of the examples based on exponential probability distribution. Their final solutions are also written over here. Guys, please write me in comment box whether you got these solutions or not. Please also write me how much useful you find this video is. In my next video, I am going to cover Weeble distribution. Till then, keep practicing these examples. Keep watching my videos. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.